Hey YouTube, I'm back with another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the newly released Radeon RX Vega. This is the Sapphire reference card. Vega is the new flagship graphics card architecture from AMD that released last week. Um, it's got a lot of hype and it also has a lot of like weird controversial news. I'm not going to get into any of that stuff because I don't believe any of it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I will be doing my own independent review of this thing. Um, so just looking at it here, Sapphire, um, the card is 8 gigs of high bandwidth memory, high bandwidth cache, it's using HBM memory, so it's HBM2 memory, actually second generation, whereas by comparison, my old Fury card, so this is the Sapphire Tri-X, um, using the triple fan style, which is a very quiet, very good uh, graphics card actually, very underrated graphics card. Um, I really think that they're going to bring back this this design for the custom cards for Vega, I really think it would be an excellent choice because uh, it's very quiet because of that design there where you can take advantage of the space savings on the PCB um, for HBM. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing here. So you peel up the tape. You don't have to tear it off or cut it. Uh, and you just open this up. And the card just comes right out like this. Sapphire is known for their signature brown generic boxes with nothing special on them. Um, just open it right up. Okay. It's fairly basic. You don't get any driver installation CD. You don't get any uh, 6 to 8 pin adapter. So they expect you to have a high end power supply for a high end graphics card of this caliber. So I don't fault them on that. Although I think it would have been nice if they gave you a uh, display port to DVI adapter. This card actually came with that, this old Fury card, um, because it does have the same uh, style as Vega from two years ago. The GTX 1080 Founders Edition by comparison, if we just take a look at this card briefly, uh, it came with a DVI port on the back. so. Um, but it doesn't really matter because I never used it, so I was always using triple display port anyway, so on my FreeSync monitors. So anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, this comes right out. This is a heavy graphics card. There it is. In all its glory, the RX Vega reference design. I actually like this reference design. Um, it looks clean, understated. Um, but it's black, so it goes with a lot of different uh, cases and styles out there. The red Radeon logo on the side lights up red, as you would expect. Similar to the GeForce GTX logo on the NVIDIA card. I will say I do prefer where NVIDIA placed the GeForce GTX logo that lights up green. I like how it's in the middle of the card. I don't like how the Radeon one is all the way in the back like that. Depending on people's case setup, it can be harder to see. Um, that's just a that's just some feedback on my side to the people who design the reference card uh, you get three full uh, 1.4 display port ports here in the back and one HDMI 2.0 B you have a nice matte finish back plate with the cutout for the, uh, the GPU to breathe I guess you get the really nice GPU tachometer that returns from the Fury series, and you get to choose between blue and red. Um, interestingly enough, a little trivia here, or I guess a fun fact for the Fury card, the Fury card actually allowed three colors. It allowed, uh, in addition to off, red, blue. If you put red and blue to on, you get purple. So this did have the option to have a purple color LED. So it's just something that the Vega card, as far as I know, does not have that. I mean, it only has red blue or off uh, but still it's nice to have it is something that the, the GTX card reference card does not have um, by comparison the GTX card the only value add that you get is uh, less power consumption and you get a DVI port on the back if you're actually going to use that uh, but that's basically it uh, side by side they're about the same size uh, move the camera up a little bit. So, yeah. Um, they're about the same 
length, I would say. Uh, let's put them on top of each other. Yeah, they're ex actually exactly the same length. You can see there. Uh, they both can stand up on the on their tops. I believe the GTX. It's a little bit harder to do. No, it does it just fine. So they do stand up really nice, like so. And uh, I guess the Tri-X in the back, you can see how much taller it is. It's about like a whole inch and a half taller. So these two cards are both 10 and a half inches. The Tri-X is, I want to say, 11 and a half, almost a foot long. So I expect the Custom Vegas to use that triple fan design. That'll be a really good, quiet alternative to the reference card. Uh, but I'll be doing my noise test, and I'll test in... Uh, Power saver mode, all the stuff that you didn't really see reviewers cover, I will be covering all of that. So, if you're interested, stay tuned for that review on this channel. And stay tuned for more Vega coverage, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.